Hey everybody, I wanted to share real quick uh, uh, the spark plug change on the dreaded 4.63 valve. I got a 2008 Explorer, um, picked it up from my dad. It's got 105,000 miles on it, never had the plugs changed. So I started looking around about how to do it and stuff. Obviously all these nightmare videos that, oh, this will happen and that will happen and go buy this tool for 70 bucks and all that. But I didn't have the 70 bucks to buy the tool and more importantly, I didn't want to waste the money. So anyway, here's what I did. I went down to AutoZone, picked up the, the plugs, just the regular auto light ones. And then the guy at the counter said, hey, you got the right socket? And I said, oh, I think so, but I'll buy one anyway just to be safe. So, with all their infinite knowledge, they gave me a 5.8 socket and their 9.16 plug, so make sure you have a 9.16 deep. Um, picked up the stuff the, the other guy says about the Mustang guy, that PB stuff. And uh, anyhow, went ahead, got, the, got it all warmed up, drove it around for a little bit, and I cracked them just a little bit. And I mean, I'm talking maybe an eighth of a turn max when it was hot. And uh, that gave me a little bit of, little bit of playing room here. Um, once they were cracked open about a, an eighth of a turn, I filled up, I sprayed a ton of that stuff in each one, and then I waited an hour. Some guys say wait ten minutes, whatever. I waited an hour. Went back and uh, started to loosen them, and they were real tight and real uncomfortable again. And uh, it was kind of freaking me out a little bit. thought I bit off more than I could chew. Uh, what I did is just got about another eighth of a turn out of them, and then I just filled up the thing with, the, with that goop. There's just tons of it in there. Um, I noticed some were easier to pull out than other ones. Uh, there was about three of them that were a real pain, but when they got tight, I just went and worked on another one. And when you start loosening them, uh, you'll like loosen it, and then if you tighten it up a little bit, you'll have like this little eighth of a turn of real easy turning. When you get that, just spray some more of the stuff in there and go work on another one. Um, anyway, did that. It got to the point to where they started coming off, and I uh, got my first one out. I was super excited. Then I got my second one out, and I was super excited. Then I hit some that were real tough again, so I got a, just another eighth of a turn out of it. And then I went back and forth, tighten, loosen, tighten, loosen, a little eighth of a turn. Sprayed in more of that stuff, and uh, then I'd go back to that one that I'm talking about after I had done another one, and hey, it was a lot easier to turn, so it really helps to get that stuff in there, and not just the, you know, the Ford thing says half a teaspoon or something. I mean, I put a half inch of that stuff in the bottom, so there's, obviously, it's all drained down on the pistons, and it went in the oil. I know I got to do an oil change, and I'm going to spin this thing before I put it all back together, but I got the plugs out. The plugs are complete. They totally look like crap. You can see the, uh, all the stuff on them and what actually, you know, starts to hold it inside the head. Sorry, it's not focusing here. But it, it, most importantly, I got them all out. And uh, I didn't spend 70 bucks on that tool, and I didn't disable the only car I have to get to work. So I just want to let you guys know you're seeing all the negative stuff out there that uh, you take your time. It's the amount of force I was putting on it. I read on uh, Ford's thing that, you know, 33 foot-pounds or something like that when loosening. I don't know what 33 foot-pounds would feel like, but I didn't do a ton. And if it felt too tight, I just went and did another one. Um, Wish you guys best of luck. It it's obviously can be done. Here's 105,000 mile. They say to look at, uh, you know, the problem was fixed after November of some of 2007 or something. That's on this tag down here. Of course, mine was March, so this one wasn't one of the fixed ones either. Um, but it can be done. Just take your time. I started with the car hot. Don't know if that makes a difference. And uh, I know that the ones that were super, super tight, I'd do the little eighth turn back and forth, back and forth, and then put some more goop in there and then go work on another one. And they all came out, guys. So here's a video with a positive ending. So come on, you can do it. 916 steep socket, that PB stuff, and uh, that's it. Rock on. Bye.